satellites. 1,500 to 20,000 satellites. Now, how many satellites are in orbit? You can't get a number. But that number will range from anywhere between 1,500 to 20,000 satellites. You'll always get a different number as to how many satellites exist in orbit. What do satellites look like? The old satellites from the 70s were very large. The Navy even recently had an operation where they pretended to shoot a satellite out of orbit to minimize its danger in reentry. And they described this satellite as being the size of a bus. Satellites used to be quite large. Nowadays, they want you to believe that satellites can fit in the palm of your hand. Now they have CubeSat satellites, and they can <laughs> they can be deployed from the International Space Station by hand. An astronaut can toss one of these CubeSat satellites at the Earth. Doesn't even matter how he throws it at the Earth. You could throw it at the Earth or towards an orbital plane. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you toss it and it's tumbling uncontrollably. But this is what they'll have you believe. Have you ever seen what a satellite is supposed to look like? You have computer graphics to show you what they look like. And satellites are supposed to be past low Earth orbit. Look at how far GPS satellites are supposed to be. There's even satellites in an orbital state in geosynchronous orbit that are very, very far away from the Earth. So not only are you looking at computer-generated images right now, you're looking at computer-generated images of the Earth. Question number one. Why are you looking at computer generation, computer generated, you can say generation two, <laughs> there's old technology, so you should have old pictures of satellites in space, but you're looking at computer generated images, and you're looking at computer generated images of the Earth when satellites are supposed to be past low Earth orbit. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to have a real picture of the Earth for these illustrations? Satellites are supposed to be past low Earth orbit, and by now, there should be thousands of pictures of Earth from space. Why would you ever substitute that for fucking computer-generated crap? Now, here's an image of the Earth that people use all the time. It is not even supposed to be real. It's a composite, and it's been shown how this is made. And there's several images from this composite model that are presented as images of the Earth from space. They're not even supposed to be real. They don't pretend that they are real, but they allow you to think they are real. People use this image a lot. Well, people believe these satellites exist... But where are the pictures of the Earth from space? And people will tell you, well, if satellites don't exist, how does my GPS phone work? Where are the pictures of Earth from space? You believe these satellites exist. Why can't you give me pictures of the Earth from space? They're fucking right there. They're old technology. They can't take a picture of the Earth? Your beloved satellites that you believe and you'll defend... Till the end of your life? You have no problem with no pictures of Earth from space existing? Let's say hypothetically there were no images of the Earth from space. What would that mean exactly? Well, that would mean NASA is doing nothing in space. Because if they did anything in space, they would take a picture of the Earth. That would also mean that these satellites past low Earth orbit don't exist.
Why are billions of people okay with these images and the lack of photos of Earth from space? Why can't we have a real picture of the Earth that is not supposed to be a composite? Why can't we have that? NASA gets billions of dollars. Is that really too much to ask? And this image is important. That picture of Earth is from Apollo 17, and you're showing it your entire life, and they still show it in news articles today, and they're going to continue to show this image in the news for the following decades to come. <laughs> they're never going to stop showing you this image to represent Earth. They're not even talking about Apollo 17 in these articles. They use that image, the same image, which is in every single science book, the same image which you've been shown your entire life, they're going to continue to use it in news articles in the future. This is 2014. You're probably watching this in 2015, and you're still going to see this image all year long, and you're not going to think about it. It's from the 70s. It's like... <laughs> Something you would see on a poster in that 70s show. Remember their clothing? How ridiculous they look in that show? That picture of Earth can be a, on a poster in their room because it's from Apollo 17. It is that old. Here's that composite again. I typed satellites. I didn't type bullshit composite image of the Earth. Why does that come up? They even search for that. Look at all this computer-generated bullshit. Are you okay with believing bullshit? Because I have a lot of family that are perfectly fine believing bullshit. They don't care that it's not true. They want to believe it. See this crap? If you could be at that distance, and these satellites are always there, and the Apollo 17 image of Earth from space was taken from a Hasselblad camera, that means that by now, there should be literally thousands. There could be millions, but thousands is the obvious answer. There should be thousands of pictures of the Earth from space. And what do you get? Apollo 17. This is not even a real picture of the Earth. And billions of people are brainwashed and they cannot figure this out. The cartoons your children watch today are so idiotic and they're designed that way on purpose. They want dumb sheep that can't figure out the world around them. Your children watch cartoons, they're entertained by cartoons, and you believe that cartoons are real life. You believe that this shit exists. When NASA films their spacewalks, they're done underwater. There's even bubbles in the water. <laughs> and the Hubble Space Telescope, which is supposed to be supplying you with data about the Big Bang, the universe, and galaxies, and redshift, that does not exist in orbit because they performed... These same fake spacewalks on a model of the Hubble Space Telescope. It is all fraud. There is that composite again. Even if you thought that was a real image of Earth from space, why would it keep coming up? Why one image? You believe in bullshit. Are you okay with that? Do you want to learn about the world around you? All you have to do is start looking at evidence. Just... Be like a detective. Think critically. Turn off the television. It is controlled. Learn about Freemasons and learn about the Jesuit order. This shit is history. You're not being taught it, but you should still be able to learn it. It's fucking actual history. And start examining evidence. You are being lied to every single goddamn day of your life. And nuclear weapons don't even exist. The videos of nuclear weapon detonations are a complete joke. Wake up, start looking at evidence, and stop being lied to.